Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be looking at the Samsung Galaxy S9, this is the FE Plus Edition. The FE stands for the Fan Edition. First thing first, let's talk about the design. This is a pretty large tablet, 12.4 inches. When it comes to the rest of the design, I do like how it looks. It also comes with this aluminum frame and it also does have the Gorilla Glass front. So meaning you're probably not going to encounter any scratches. I'm a big fan of the design. I also love these lines that go all the way around. You have the Samsung logo here. I think overall tablet looks pretty good. Now let's go over all the inputs and all that. On the bottom, we do have those three pins for the keyboard. And then if we look at the right side, we have USB-C for charging. We have speaker. And then if we go top, we have the SD card slot. We also have the volume rockers, power lock button. This is also a fingerprint sensor as well. And then we also have another speaker on this side. And as I mentioned, dual cameras on the back. Before I do anything else, let's talk about that fingerprint sensor on top. It works pretty much the same as the iPad Air. All you have to do is just apply your finger on that power button and it should unlock the screen. It works pretty much I would say 100 out of 100 times, I haven't had any issues. If you do end up noticing some issues, I would recommend scanning the same finger twice. That usually fixes all those issues. Now let's talk about the screen. We had 4.4 inches AMOLED display. This uh, tablet also does for HDR10+. When it comes to the resolution, it has 2800 times 1752 pixels. Overall, for me, the display is very, very smooth. And I do like the brightness, also do love the colors. I think overall it's a beautiful display. I also do have A9 Plus and this one is much much better. Since this is a very large tablet I do end up watching quite a lot of Netflix on this, YouTube videos and also do end up playing some games as well. Now when it comes to the performance we do have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 CPU. Uh, this also comes with either 8 gigabytes of RAM or 12 gigabytes of RAM depending which storage you end up getting. I decided to go with the 128 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM. If you update to the, I believe, 256, 512, you will be receiving 12 gigabytes of RAM. Um, when it comes to the cameras, we do have 8 megapixels on the front, take some pretty decent selfies, and on, on the back, we do have dual cameras, 30 megapixel wide, and the 6 megapixel ultra wide. Um, now, let's pop those cameras on. Let me just take a quick picture here. Let me just find this. I don't plan on taking any pictures with this, I'll be honest. You know, that's not why I'm getting the tablet, but it is there if you do want to end up taking some picture. And here is the one I just took, and I think the detail, the color, um, everything about the picture is fine. It's not going to compete with the, for example, you know, newest iPhones or the Samsung, but the cameras themselves are actually better than most of the budget friendly phones I've had so far. Now, when it comes to the battery, we do have a pretty huge battery in this. We have 10,090 milliamp battery. With my testing, I was getting at least 10 hours of use. Another thing that I do love about this tablet, it also supports fast charging wired at 45 watts. So this tablet charges in a very short time. Now let's talk about the extras. It does come with the S Pen. You can end up putting this on the top or you can end up putting this on the back depending if you do have it in the case, but there's a little magnetic spot here. And once it's on the back, it's actually pretty firm. So it's not gonna go anywhere, depending what kind of case you have. For now, I decided not to get the case, but I usually just keep the S Pen on top, or sometimes I would even have it on my desk. This tablet definitely has a lot of pros. For example, display has that Super AMOLED, very large display, beautiful colors, amazing brightness as well. It also has a pretty good performance. As I mentioned, you can get it with eight gigabytes of RAM or 12 gigabytes of RAM. I think 8 gigabytes of RAM is plenty. Uh, pretty large battery size, as I mentioned, over 10,000 milliamp. Also does support very fast charging, 45 watts. I don't see that often on the uh, tablets at all, so that's definitely a big bonus. Also comes with the S Pen. If you don't want to end up using the S Pen, you can definitely end up trading it or something. It definitely has some 
good value in the S Pen as well. And best of all, it does have pretty good audio quality. AKG tuned is pretty good when it comes to the speakers. It also does support Dolby Atmos as well. So overall, this is a really good tablet and I would definitely recommend that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.